Artisanal craft cocktail would be taking a classic cocktail and spinning it and putting your take on the cocktail, maybe doing something a little bit more creative. And it is a complete culinary approach on all your ingredients. Everything is going to be very important from start to finish. The cocktail needs to look beautiful and then the garnishes need to tie in completely as well. So we do a lot of dehydrated garnishes for our program because of course they will always stay looking nice. Dehydrated roses uh, might be one of them. The garnish that we're doing for Old Fashioned is a dehydrated pineapple that we then dye with red beets to add a little bit of flair to it. What really gets me jazzed about cocktails in general is just the fact that there's so much on the market and there's so many opportunity to try something different. Since we're working with such seasonal ingredients, we have to pay extra attention because every season, those ingredients change, and so we have to change the drink to keep it consistent. I like to add a little bit of flair to the situation as well. So like we might smoke a cinnamon stick or some star anise and like completely smoke a cocktail glass and then we'll pour the cocktail on top and you have this kind of like little bit of a show. And at the same time though, you're adding depth to the cocktail. It's an art form at the end of the day. It's the same thing of watching an artist do a painting, a chef making a beautiful dish. So now the cocktail world is completely like following those footsteps. I even drink cocktails like I'm coursing out a meal. You know, you start light spirits, something maybe a little bit like a martini style drink, and then work your way to like a deeper, richer, maybe a sherry based cocktail or that late night kind of nightcap. More and more bars are opening up doing craft cocktails and um, you know well thought uh, cocktail lists and, and so on. I think that it's very predominant in large cities and I think Reno is growing at such a fast pace and having lots of people that are well traveled moving here and so there's a hunger for it. I think more and more people are becoming more educated in fine drink and interesting spirits. If they're coming to a fine place to get cocktails, they want to learn something. So they'll be either watching the bartender's technique or the bartender will be talking about the ingredients that they're putting in there. Citrus infusion and Earl Grey, fresh lemon juice. And so you're dropping or giving a little bit of knowledge to the guest, which at the same time, you're still also making a beautiful cocktail. So it's just like a performance, if you will. We're always learning and always growing and our technique is going to constantly be moving forward and upward and, and at the same time so will our cocktail program. And I think that's the important thing is always striving for knowledge and growth.